Hey, what's up guys, Loftingerfish here, as always, back playing more DCS. We have some fresh and interesting news on the gaming industry, of course not on the major side, but more of a indie, nerdy aspect. Uh, the Machine Gun update is uh, finally coming out on Heroes and Generals. I know that the server has been down for past 24 hours, they're trying to uh, work up and get it back up to run the uh, new update with the Soviets. And also, MiG-15 from Bill's MiG is uh, supposed to come out, and that is the open beta version, is to, supposed to come out uh, within February, which is uh, only a few days left, so it's very possible for them to postpone the release. Uh, but it doesn't really bother me. Uh, I've already pre-purchased it to get the 20% off discount, and I have few interesting mission to work on with that B-29 mod that this Japanese guy made. Um, I guess we're gonna first start up with the radios. Uh, we're in Kutaisi, so our channel is number five, no, number ten. And we're gonna also f uh, set up the NDB, which stands for non-directional beacon. We're gonna use it to navigate it back to the airfield. Uh, the NDB frequency on Kutaisi is 477. So I'm gonna first adjust this to around here. And the needle over here should uh, look directly to our right side since the beacon is placed um, outside the runway. Here we go. Uh, I think it worked this time. Yep, it did. So that's good, that's good. Uh, we're gonna wait until the this percentage goes up to around 35% so we can start generating enough uh, electricity. To use some of our systems, starting from our air brakes. Wow, it's really dark. Alright. So everything should be set to go. Alright, so our mission for today is uh, actually quite simple. It is a very basic ground strike mission. Um, striking the enemy convoy consisting of at least four transport vehicles. Uh, there may be more vehicles uh, supporting or protecting the convoy, so we may face some um, uh, light air defense, maybe some strellas, I don't know. Uh, but we're gonna fly through the valley, uh, try and spot the convoy, and take him out with uh, our loadout, which are, as always, the basic uh, six of the 50 cal machine guns uh, mounted on our fuselage, and also 16 of the dumpfire rockets, which I'm not really good at using them. I always miss them, but hopefully. Uh, we we'll try and approach in a steeper angle to get the higher accuracy. And wheels break off. It's really been a while since I last took off with the F-86. Already not properly aligned with the center indicator, but who cares. 100 knots. Start rotating right about now. And take off. Gears up. And we are 150 knots. I'm gonna retract the flaps. My nose should go down. Yes, let's counter that. Alright, it wasn't too bad. Alright, well, we have about uh, five minutes flight towards the valley. We're gonna keep following this river, so I'll get back on you guys as soon as we reach the AO. We'll see you then. Alright, so we're getting quite close to the AO, I think. Um, I'm on the right valley, but again, I'm not quite sure because my navigation was quite fundamental. Basically, take right turn at the next river, take left turn at the next building. And as we speak, we're going to take right turn. This should be the correct valley. But yeah, it's very likely that I have screwed up in one of the turns.
turns that we're flying in a completely different airspace, but I do remember the terrain and I think we're on the right valley. We're gonna turn right next one. Alright, so while we are on a rather um, safe side right now, I'm gonna set my master arm on. Select all guns, rockets. Depression angle to around 30. And we should be good to engage the targets. Not really a <laughs> good shot with the rockets, so it's don't really have a high hopes up at hitting the targets, but we'll try. Alright, there there are one, two, three, one, two, three, total of six. One's opening up fire on me, so the last one is a some kind of a triple A unit guessing from the orange tracers. Here's another trace rounds. So four out of six should be our main target. Wow, that was close. Alright, alright. To seize the target. I'm gonna go in for a first attack. Tell my wingman to attack the formation as well. Engage target of opportunity. Engage target of opportunity. Well, the triple A is busy tracking the uh, our, my my wingman. I'm gonna go in for an attack. Air breaks out and go for a rear column. Good hits. Good hits. The front column has uh, taken evasive at the right side. I also see uh, one transport going to the right side. Go for the transport. Good hits, he's down. Caught the throttle. Air breaks out. There we go. Good hits on the ABC. Nice. Alright, all we have left is a uh, transport truck, so we should have no more threats. Not sure how many uh, rockets I have left. I'm gonna go in for another attack. Come on. Good hits. Oh, crap! Oh, I forgot to build the hill. That was close. But there we go, one, two, three, four, five, six. All of the convoy is down, our mission is complete. I'm gonna tell my wingman. By the way, the, my wingman didn't fire any rockets, which is a bit weird. But I'm gonna tell him to rejoin the formation. Flight, join up. I'm gonna do one low flight pass to just to make sure that everything is down. Yep, all of them are good as dead. Alright, let's head back home. Alright, so if you remember, um, we've set up the NDB when we were about to take off. So what we just need to do is turn off the navigation. And this should point straight to the Kdaisi airfield which is to our 10 o'clock, around there. 
can also hear the Morse chord saying 477. Alright, so you can see that the needle is actually pointing at the Kadaisi airfield. Kadaisi, in field, 1-1. One, one. Request landing. I'm just gonna put my gears down. Make this turn, correct my course a tiny bit. We're still a little bit high on altitude. Not a little bit, but quite a lot. <laughs> so I'm gonna dip my altitude a little bit. And the gear is down. Going way too fast. Come on. Very rough. In fact, I'm not quite sure if I'll be able to stop the aircraft in time. Nah, I don't think I'll be able to. That's the end of the wrong way. Going way too fast, 100 knots. Come on. Come on. No! <laughs> oh well, close enough. Actually, not really, that was kind of ugly. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video as always. Um, like I said, I'm planning for a few MiG-15 missions as soon as I get used to the aircraft. So, yep, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one.